Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my makeup bag travel edition. Uh, so I am going to be doing this video twice this month. Um, this one is going to be based for or based on uh, more of a vacation and beachy travel. Uh, and then later this month I'm going to be traveling for work. So I'm also going to share with you guys the um, makeup products I've decided to uh, take with me for that sort of uh, travel. So this one's going to be more um, outside based, uh, beachy sorts of um, uh, products and travel uh, makeup, whereas later this month it's going to be much more indoors and professional uh, and those sorts of things. So let's go ahead and get started. So this month uh, we are going, actually next week, uh, Wednesday the 6th of July. I'm not positive when this will be going up, hopefully somewhere around that time, so you guys uh, will see this when I am in Florida. Uh, but my boyfriend and I are going to Florida. Uh, for a week and we'll be coming home the 13th. Um, but so I did want to share with you guys the products that I'm trying um, or that I am planning on bringing uh, and let's go ahead and get started. So let's go through brushes first. Um, first off, actually let's talk about this awesome makeup bag. Okay, so this is a Sonia Kashuk um, bag and it zips, there's two zippers on it. Um, and it also actually came with like a little insert bag but that's actually st stayed in my purse year round. Um, so this is what this bag looks like on the inside. It does, it's like a little mini train case uh, and it has a nice little section for brushes with like an elastic band right here and a nice cover. And on this side is just a nice uh, open area to put all your products and it does hold quite a lot of uh, stuff. So let's do brushes first. Uh, these are the brushes that I am going to bring. Um, some of these actually, the, the majority of these um, are actually dirty and I am washing them before I am packing them for real. <laughs> um, but these are brushes that I use every day, uh, and so I really couldn't see traveling without them. Um, I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. Uh, we don't really have a ton of activities planned while we're down in Florida, and I certainly won't be wearing makeup when we go to the beach. Um, but for other outdoor activities and, and those sorts of things, I am going to be wearing a little bit of makeup, um, as well as for some of our evening uh, adventures that we have planned. Um, so let's do brushes first. I'm going to do the face brushes. Uh, so this is the Morphe E3. I love this guy for bronzing, actually. Uh, this is a new brush to my collection. It came in uh, my June Morphe Brush Club uh, delivery, uh, and it's awesome. Sort of tapered, um, but also pretty fluffy as well. So it's, I really like it for bronzer. I'm not sure if that's what it's meant for, but that's what I use it for. So he's going to go in the little brush pocket. Okay, the next face brush is face brush is this little guy. This is a Trinity brush. It doesn't have a name. I use this for an all over powder brush. Um, I love this brush. It came actually with, um, I picked this up on Amazon, actually picked up um, the Mary, um, Mary Luminizer by the Balm on Amazon and this brush came with it. I would never use this to highlight. It's humongous, um, but I love it for powder. So that's coming. Okay, these are two little foundation brushes. Uh, this one I actually just picked up at CVS. I know, right? Weird. Um, last week, it is dirty. I did use it yesterday, actually, uh, with my uh, with the foundation or CC cream that I am taking. Um, and I really like the finish it gave. So this actually, I think it was $12, but it was on sale and I had a coupon. Um, and it's an awesome little sort of multi-purpose face brush. It's the MUA Makeup Academy Professional Brush, and, I, and it's called the Multi-Purpose 018 really like this and it's nice and small as well. Another um, face brush that I'm bringing for that uh, use with the CC cream is this little guy. This is just a BH Cosmetics. It's like an angled flat top brush and I love this brush for foundations. Um, it's really good with the CC cream but I also really like this with the CoverGirl uh, Outlast 3-in-1 foundation. I really like this brush with that foundation a lot. But this is just it's nice and dense, but not too dense, and just really helps to blend out product. Okay, uh, another face brush. Well, these are sort of both face brushes. This is just a setting brush that I use to set my under eye area. It's a real technique setting brush. Love this guy. And this is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush, and I like this for highlighter, actually. Uh, again, it's sort of uh, tapered, but could also be a little bit more, little, a little bit more fluffy for blending. Uh, so this is what I use for highlights. And these are just some eye brushes. I'm not bringing a ton, as you can see. I'm um, just bringing a couple. So this I use. This is wonderful. This is actually also a new addition. This was in the May Morphe Brush Club uh, delivery. This is the Morphe M441. I adore this. Look how fluffy and big this guy is. 
uh, love this for in the crease. This is really good for, um, again, I'm sorry, these are dirty and they are going to be washed before I pack them. Uh, this is a little bit more fluffy, but also really great for a little bit more of a detailed crease. Okay, let's get those guys in there. And this I like for packing, uh, it's just an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I have a lot uh, of these in my collection because they're wonderful. Uh, great for packing on a lid color. This is just a Sonia Kashuk brush, but it's sort of short and fluffy, and I like this for like the outer V. And this is just the Wet n Wild, it doesn't tell me, just, I think it's just a fluffy shadow brush. And I use this to uh, sort of blend everything together. Those are the brushes that I am taking. I'm not going to be taking a Real Techniques or a sponge or beauty blender because I actually don't enjoy the finish that it gives when I use it with that CC cream. Let's just talk about the CC cream now <laughs> since I've mentioned it so much. Uh, this is the only sort of base or foundation product or uh, base product that I am bringing with me on vacation. It is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus color correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum <laughs> and the reason I am bringing this is because of the SPF 50. Um, I have to wear a ton of SPF when I'm down in Florida like I basically have to reapply 80 SPF at least three times daily if I don't want to come home with too severe of a sunburn. <laughs> That's how sensitive my skin is to the sun and air conditioning. It's pretty pretty fair um, but this definitely helps. I love that it has this high of, of uh, sun protection and I love the finish that it gives as well so that is definitely coming. Uh, the two palettes that I am going to be bringing it because I couldn't decide. Uh, the first one is this little guy. This is the Tarte uh, Cosmetics Rainforest After Dark uh, Face Palette. Uh, and the reason I am bringing this little guy is because it comes with all of these products. I do love the eyeshadows, um, but the other palette I'm bringing, I think I'm going to be using those shadows more because they are much warmer. And I think you got to go warm when you're, when you're in Florida and, and all that sunshine. Uh, so, but I do love this highlight, this bronzer, and this blush. So this bad boy is probably coming with me. This guy is 100% coming with me. This is the uh, Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. You guys have all seen this on the channel before because I love it so much. Uh, nice warm tones with like a nice pop of color up there. So this guy is definitely coming with me. And it smells like peanut butter. You can never get enough of that. Okay, so what? see if I can, I probably should have brought a little something with me. Let's just put it over here. Okay, so next, uh, to set that foundation, I'm going to be trying this little guy. I haven't actually used this with that foundation, so we'll see how it goes. This is, I'm sorry, the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I also have Fair. Uh, I might actually be bringing Fair because this might be actually too light uh, to set that foundation when I'm in Florida. Um, but I love this on its own. I love it to top other sort of beauty creams. So hopefully I'll enjoy the, the coverage that it gives. All right, for bronzer, besides the one that comes in that face palette, we are going to be bringing the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Uh, this, if you haven't smelled this, oh my God, it just makes me think of summertime and like sunscreen and being out at the beach and it's wonderful. Um, I was thinking about bringing my Too Faced one, but it's like $30 and I'm afraid that it's going to shatter because it is so fragile as a baked product. So we're going to go with this guy instead. I've been using this the past couple days and loving it, so it's coming. I'm actually also going to be trying this little guy. Um, this is the ColourPop highlighter, the Super Shock Cheek uh, highlighter in the shade Wisp. As you can see, that is crazy dark. Um, however, I tried it as an eye base and I didn't really like it because it is pretty sheer. So I am going to try it as a highlighter as it was intended to be used. Uh, and we will see how that goes. But it is a little bit dark, but hopefully sheared out. It'll be really pretty uh, to go with that bronzer. All right, so for primers, I'm bringing two. They're a little sample, so I think it's okay. Uh, this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Uh, this came in our June Sephora Play Box. Uh, and I haven't actually used it yet, so I'm thinking, again, glowy. I mean, you're in Florida, you're in the sun, you're, you're getting glowy on the beach, why not wear a little bit of glowy primer as well? Again, I haven't tried it yet, so I am excited to give that boy, that boy, that bad boy uh, a go. And I'm also going to be bringing this guy. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother, but it has a broad spectrum of 30 SPF, so it's coming because of that reason alone, and it's a really good primer. All right, let's see. As an individual shadow, I'm actually going to be bringing this little guy. This is uh, the Wet n Wild shade Creme Brulee. 
Um, I've been wearing this, I'm actually wearing it today. I wore it yesterday. It's really nice to sort of even out the tone of your eye for doing sort of a no makeup makeup look like I kind of have on today. Uh, if you'd like a tutorial on this, please let me know. <laughs> um, but I've been outside in the sun a lot uh, those last couple days and I haven't wanted to wear a ton of makeup but wanted a little bit of something uh, on my face to sort of even out some texture and skin tone. Uh, and this is what I went with on the eyes and have been loving it. Okay, I'm sort of going way out of order. Uh, this is the concealer I'm bringing. This is the uh, Maybelline Instant Angel Line in the shade Fair. Love this guy. I am wearing it today, and I think it goes really well with that PC cream, so it is coming. Uh, two eye primers. Well, okay. Three eye products, face primer products. Uh, I'm bringing this little guy. This is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 five, five BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow in the shade... I don't know. Another arm muscle shade, but I'm not sure what shade this is. Uh, this is, again, it's really great for sort of evening out skin tone and to, wearing, uh, and to wear under other eyeshadows. I couldn't really wear this alone because it is a bit dark, but that is coming. Also, um, just a little uh, primer sample that came in an Ipsy bag. This is just the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. And then this little guy. I love this. This is the Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Eye Base in the shade Submissive. That peanut butter and jelly palette has a lot of bronzy shades, so this little bronze um, base is coming with me as well. Okay, and then we have some brow and eyelash products. So actually, this is an eyeliner. This is just a liquid liner I use. I don't use a ton of liner. I'm not wearing it today. I didn't wear it yesterday, I don't believe. Um, just a really simple brown liner. I really prefer brown for more natural look. Um, and so brown is coming with me. This guy, I'm going to give this another go. Um, this was actually in my products to use or say goodbye to tag, this CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. And I held on to it, so darn it, I'm going to get some use out of it. <laughs> Another brow or eye product, I'm, eyelash product I'm bringing is the Benefit Fair Real Tinted Primer. I am wearing this today. Love, love, love it. Great for natural looks, but also I actually really enjoy this as a primer. I don't tend to enjoy the white primers that you use, like under a black mascara or a darker mascara. Um, but this is brown, and so this is shade Mate. Uh, and I really like it alone or as a primer. Okay, I'm going a little bit softer on my brows. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. This is on my brows today. It's not nearly as intense as um, some darker shades that I have, so I thought that was good. And then I'm just bringing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel uh, to keep those bad boys in place. Last but not least, we're bringing the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I have a little sample size. I have the, oops, I finished one of these up before, actually, and really enjoyed it. But I have the oil control one that I really, really like. That's a full size, so I'm just going to bring this uh, original version instead. So, let's make sure this all fits. <laughs> okay. So I put all my makeup in this cute little bag, and it does. It all fits. How adorable is this? It has a little handle and zippers and everything. I just love this. Um, again, this is from Target. Um, I'm not sure if they have the style anymore, but I know they have this bag uh, type. I just not the print. I think the print's going to be different now. Um, I don't love the print of this. I just like the bag itself. If they had another one, I definitely would pick it up um, because I, I don't love the lips or whatever, whatever this is. The bag I love, however. Um, okay, so that is what I'm bringing on my vacation uh, this summer to Florida. So like I said, I am going going to be doing sort of. Um, of a a second edition of this when I travel for work to sort of share with you the products that I will be um, swapping out and bringing with me instead for more of an indoors slash professional um, occasion, I guess. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.